today on Garage Time, we're going to go through the key differences that make your auto stick an auto stick. So Volkswagen used your typical engine, however they changed a few of the key components. So we're going to start at the front of the engine with the flywheel. So in an auto stick, they removed the flywheel and they put in a drive plate. Now your drive plate, I have a spare one here, but this is your drive plate, so no flywheel. Gland, you still use your gland nut, you attach this, and this is what actually connects to your torque converter. So when you made it with the torque converter in the auto stick transmission, that's what drives the tranny. Another key difference on your auto stick is the oil pump. So the oil pump on your auto stick has two chambers. So it's got at the front of the engine, a typical gears pumping oil through the engine. And on the rear, it's a much smaller set of gears, but it, there is another gear pump in there and it has an inlet and an outlet, which pumps the ATF throughout the, the tranny and your automatic system. Uh, other differences include your manifold. And again, we'll zoom in on a shot here, but this vacuum hose, you have an extra port on your manifold uh, below the carburetor here. You need that obviously vacuum line for controlling your control valve. Uh, you have a different distributor so the timing curve is, is different. So if you're going with the obviously the original equipment it has to be a 205P series distributor so it has a different vacuum can, different vacuum advance. Next major difference is your carburetor. So on the flange of the carburetor, there's a stamp number. For auto sticks, you want that to be a 167. Now there's a 167 dash. The next number is for type one, type two, uh, type three. It's not that part is not crucial. The crucial part is the 167 and the 167 is crucial because it has an extra vacuum line on the front which again goes to your control valve. So that being said, those are the differences. So if you have a standard engine and you needed to convert it for your auto stick or you're going back to an auto stick, obviously you need the drive plate instead of a flywheel. You need the correct oil pump with the secondary pump on it for your ATF fluid. You need a manifold with the vacuum for your control valve. You need the distributor with the correct timing curve. Again, that's 205P series. And you need the carburetor that has the extra vacuum port. And to identify it, it's a 167 series carburetor. So that's it in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.